it hasn't been easy you know because you're a hard person to deal with sometimes yeah. <laughs> i know i would not marry myself oh my god if he would have told me the day that i met you you were gonna be my husband i would have been like no god give me someone else <laughs> wow wow really but was that, that look, i'm being honest sometimes me and her are just talking and we are watching a movie or you know we have we know people and i can you just like I don't know what I would do if I was married to that person. <laughs> We're like, I would probably be in jail. <laughs> Welcome back to Chats with Gabby. Welcome to episode 11. We are so excited for this episode. I'm so excited to be coming into your homes or coming into your cars, wherever you are listening. Thank you so much for opening up your hearts to us. And today I have my husband, Fernando, once again, welcome. Hello, welcome <laughs> to my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, wherever you are. Wherever you're <laughs> listening to, if you're driving home, or you're at work, work working, or, working to work. Or you're watching to this work. to go to sleep. <laughs> or you're waking up to see us. Yeah. You know, we 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 want to say that today's going to be an awesome day for you. It is. It is. It always will be when you have a great attitude, even yes. when things don't go your way. Yes. Just um a negative attitude. I think I, I really liked what you posted the other day. What did I post? Um oh. that a negative mind, what is it? A negative um mind will never produce a a positive, a positive life. life. That is so true. So Today is going to be an awesome day. Yes. And you said something just now that said even if things don't go out the way you probably plan them. Mm -hmm. And I want to say or ask you, you know that God is always in control. Yeah, he is. Even right? when we feel like he's not, he's always there. He's always there. And uh, it's, it's tough. It's, uh, it's one of the, probably one of the hardest things to just let go and let God and be trust. God. Yeah. Let go and let be. What, how do let you say God that? be God and then letting go and just saying, you know what, Lord? Like, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you like I've done. I, and there's times where I feel like that, where I'm like, God, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. It's on you now. Right. Like you have to come through. Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, I wanted to talk about that because, you know, sometimes, well, that's not the topic, but. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about today. <laughs> she hasn't told me a thing. <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. But, um, you know, our plans are always one thing, right? Yeah. We wanted to uh, record on Thursday. We couldn't. We wanted yeah. to record on Friday. It didn't happen. And we couldn't. And then Saturday just got too complicated. And we were like, okay, fine, let's do it Sunday. Sunday's like the only day we can yeah, do it. Yeah, this is the, you're watching this on a Monday or a Tuesday, but this was recorded <laughs> a few hours before it was before. released. But the thing it's is. It's supposed to go up in like six hours. Six hours, less probably. Less than that, yeah. But the thing is, Fed, that it was meant to be recorded today. Like, God reminded me that God is always in control. Yeah. That we will have our plans but his plans are better, you mm -hmm. know, and today I just had to learn it. You know, sometimes it's just letting go, like you said, just letting God be God and take control of the situation. Yeah, because we always want to just take over and say, I, you know, there's this thing where people say, like, you make your own destiny. Mm -hmm. um, you don't. The word, you know, states that. God he has already has. written our story. Yeah, he has. And we just need to let him just be him. Yeah. And sometimes we can, you know, um, this we like we can, can wander off. Wander off. Yeah, and of our purpose. Probably our purpose, like, you know, for Moses and all the people, it was only supposed to take them 11 days yeah. to get to the promised land. Mm -hmm. But because of their behavior and their attitude and their ungratefulness, it took them 40, 40 years. years. So yeah. it's up to us how long it's going to take us. Yeah. And then just having a positive attitude, even when things don't look right. Yeah. Um, it's really hard, but it is essential. 
Right. You have to do that. So I don't know why we started saying that, but if you started know. your day <laughs> not feeling like it's your day or or it's oh it's the Monday. It's like oh it's Monday. I have yeah. to go back to work. Back to my weekends up. I mean, just be thankful that you're living another Actually, Monday. Actually, it's Memorial Day. It is Memorial. Well, a lot of people didn't get to work, but there's a lot of people that do work. Yeah. So you know what? It's okay. Make it the best. It is, and even Enjoy if you have to it. work today, just it's uh, it's today's a good day. It's yes. a good day. A new day is a new beginning. And it makes no sense to just to throw it away. Right. And make it go to waste. Exactly. Because uh, our days are numbered. Yeah. So and then, <laughs> we, like, shouldn't we just don't know them. when <laughs> we just don't know how many we have. So yeah. might as well just make most of them um, be the as best. the best as possible. Yeah. No. So I think, you know, today, if you're listening, is not a coincidence, is not a casualty, mm-hmm. you know, so don't disconnect listen to uh the rest of the story of what i want to yeah because i have no idea what we're talking about (laughs) to be honest with you this you are as surprised as me i don't know what's going on i don't know what she wants to get into talking but we like to record our the episodes like this where they're just raw right and you know we just yeah we never pre-plan or or say this is or script Yeah. yeah Because I want, you know, I want it to be as genuine as possible. Mm -hmm. And everything that we share, everything that we talk about is things that we've gone through. You know, we're never going to come and say, you know, make up any story. Yeah. Or say like, hey, you know, get up in the morning and go to the gym. Like, look, you see this guy? (laughs) He does not go to the gym. You should go (laughs) to the gym. I should do that. But, but we would never say something, do something that we that don't we, do. Yeah, that we don't do. So yes. So no. So I just kind of wanted to to say the why we decided, or why I decided to to share our story on our last episode, mm-hmm. just kind of to you know close that loop or go oh, into, just kind of wrap last up because I know there's we kind of it was a long episode. I'm not gonna lie, that was very long. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't that's that's probably just the beginning of the story yeah there's, there's so much so we much, left there's so many details so many details but i did want it to go a little deep into just a few mm-hmm. little points that i did want it to point out because it wasn't just you know without a purpose that we just wanted to share mm-hmm. our story like okay why did we even listen to their story yeah you know like there's so many wonderful Love stories. Yeah. And that's the thing that God... But I only know mine. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't lived other people. So so the one that I'm going to talk about is mine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we wanted to share that because I believe that, you know, if God has done something beautiful and maybe... You know, I, I did get a lot of feedback like, oh, what a, what a beautiful story. What a, yeah. what a beautiful love story. Um, or maybe for you, it didn't sound that beautiful, but... You know, or maybe God, you were expecting like, oh my God, he came out of the sky <laughs> on a horse, and then he. No. No. <laughs> no. But but know, hey, but the proposal though we haven't we didn't talk about uh, that. You see, there's so much. Yeah. We just we just said the very beginning. We just yeah we just talked how about we the met beginning and how we fell in love. But what I really wanted to mention is that, you know, once we started dating. Um, I don't know if I if I mentioned it, but what? that I know I did mention that I did get very uh, nervous. I got scared. Yeah, you got scared to start a relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's where I kind of wanted to talk about. And I'm sure a lot of us, not just women, but men have gone through, you know, disappointments in in life yeah. as love yeah. you know you've been because you you get yeah because you get into a relationship and then in a point it feels like that's gonna be hey i think this is the one and then it just didn't work out right and then you're just back to square one type yes. thing. yeah yes. or you think oh this is the person i'm gonna end up with or something like that and that's and it's exactly not. what yeah. i went through and i'm sure a lot of people have gone through like you know, they start a relationship thinking this is going to be the guy that I'm going to marry. Mm-hmm. And then it doesn't it doesn't go that way because, number one, God knows it all. Yeah. You know, and I feel like in my case, that's what I wanted to share is that, you know, our parents, 
know, they can see something that we can't, you know, like in my case, my mom, you know, when I said, Hey mom, I want to date this guy, not you. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was like, no, I don't see a future. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't see this. I don't see it happening. But when we become so prideful and rebellious and say, you know what? Well, I'm going to prove to you mm -hmm. that I'm right. Yeah. And then in some situations, it can be the complete opposite, too. What do you mean? Where the parents, you know, it's a good guy and everything or is a good girl, but they just don't get along for some reason. Right. And it's, you know, it can be the other way around, too, where where the parents kind of discourage you from the relationship that you know, like you, it's it's really weird. But it, it just weird. goes back to the kind of relationship you have with your parents. Right. Um, because if it's a, if it's a relationship, like if you're not really close to your parents um, and you're not, you know, you don't like talk about certain things in front of them or you don't share, share communicate. your communicate or say you've never really talked to your parents about relationships or anything like that, um, and then you are with, with the right person, uh, sometimes they can discourage you because they don't know anything about them. Yeah. And they're just going to make a decision based on just and what I they see. And I have seen that. I've or, seen that. but if you have a gay relationship with your parents, um, they can see the good or the bad. Right. You know, So it can go, I think it can go both ways in your situation was that. In my situation. <laughs> she just saw something. She saw something that I couldn't see. Correct. You know, and and the the consequences of my disobedience mm -hmm. brought a lot of pain to my life. Yeah. You know, a lot of pain for like I would say two, three years, you know, of disobeying her. And I mean, I would tell you this, when you do something and it doesn't turn out the way that it was thought up in your head, especially on a relationship, and you see all the red flags but you choose to ignore them because your pride is saying, oh, I can't because I'm going to prove my parents wrong. Just stop. Yeah. Just stop. <laughs> like, there's yes, so many red flags. So like, don't ignore the red flags. Oh, my gosh. That is so true. Like, I will tell you one thing. Um, this is something that I've learned. I don't even know where I picked this up from, to be honest with you. But I, I remember someone telling me, I don't know who it is, and if it's you, you, thank you. <laughs> but it's basically like, say, hey, See how if you're gonna meet with a girl, just see how that girl treats her dad and her parents, because the same way she treats her parents or her dad, it's she's gonna treat way. you. So like if she's very mean to her dad and she doesn't have like respect. that relationship mm -hmm. respect or anything, um, in the beginning it's gonna be all you know nice and everything, but then she's gonna eventually treat you the same way. Mm -hmm. And I would tell like um, a girl like if you see. Is guys, you see how they treat their mom. Yeah. Because they're going to do the same thing. Yes. Most of the time. I'm not saying that every single time, but most of the time, if they are not, um, you know, treating their parents right, it's just a reflection. Because we are, ju we just do what we learn right. from other people. From I our do. Parents I actually everything. learned that too. That same thing that it said that they told us if you are a person that obeys your mom, or obeys your parents, you're going to be a good wife. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to... You're going to not obey your husband, but, you know, you're going to have that relationship yeah, of it's agreement, you know, to say, you know what? Yes, I agree with you. And I feel like I have been, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, you have. <laughs> I mean, you're a very good wife. I mean, I think I chose right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all are not perfect. I'm yeah. not perfect. And I will tell you this. Um, cause I've had some people ask me like, what's the secret or anything? Oh, we fight. We, I mean like. Well, not fight. We fight, get into arguments. We get into arguments. Like we have our arguments and trust me, this relationship is not perfect. We just want to progress. Um, and that's it. Like we just want to have a better relationship. And then today we we're talking to your cousins and we were just like, like looking back, there's times where we were just like man we've i'm just so thankful because we've had a good marriage we've we have a, but it takes a lot and, and that's what work. i wanted to say you know to all my single women men young people that are still not in that 
you know, maybe you're like in your teens or you're, you're still young, yeah. you know, early twenties, whatever age it is, or maybe you're in your mid twenties, you know, waiting on God's timing, it's key. It is. Because and I can go into a rant about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me talk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's chats with Cavi. So I'm going to let you talk. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I used to think, you know, because after coming out of a relationship like that, I used to think, and I'm being serious, I used to think that there was no men left on earth that was, and I shared it on Facebook and all my social media, I used to think I was never going to find an honest man. Yeah. And that's how I thought, that's how my mentality was. And I remember my mom doing uh, someone's hair, Lucy. You know, you remember, yeah, yeah. you know, I was, she was doing her hair and I don't know why I mentioned, I said, oh, the next time I have a boyfriend, I think I'm going to have to have a lying detector with me. A lie detector? A lie detector. Okay. I see you said a lie detector. I was like, lying. why would you want? A lie want? detector. <laughs> I'm like, you want him to work at the zoo? <laughs> no, a lie detector. A lie detector. Sorry. Okay. And I said, my next boyfriend, I'm going to have to like carry a, a, a lie, lie detector, detector. Uh -huh. to know when he's telling me the truth because of what I have gone mm -hmm. through, that trauma. I was scared to be lied to yeah. again. And she said to me, no, you won't. You won't need that because whoever you marry will tell you the truth. And then in that moment, it was like, what was I thinking? You know? <laughs> it's just, you know, just immaturity. Yeah. Totally and I was like, you it. know what? You're so right. Yeah. You are so right. I'm not going to need it. And, and, you know, to Do think. You, you feel like you need it? Well, <laughs> that's what I'm about <laughs> to say, to, to look back at 10 years of marriage. Yeah. You know, this year will be 11, 11 years. years. I'm like, wow, God, you've just been so amazing that I have fully confidence in my husband to know that he's, you've never lied to me. And I continue to pray, you know, that you yeah. never lied to me. Even when you cook and it's not good. Oh. <laughs> You've told me it's been, no. You've even told me it's not good. Yeah, the I'm like truth. I'm like I'm I'm a believer. Even when I don't like him telling me the truth, he still tells me the I truth. I tell you the truth. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, and it's yeah. been times where it's been something serious, mm -hmm. and you came and told me the truth, and I got so upset. I don't know if you remember what I'm talking oh, about. I don't remember what you're talking about, but it's been several times. Yeah, where it was like, but I was like, wow, like you know, it's just a confirmation of that day, like saying, you will never need that, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes we can get stuck, you know, thinking, well, I'm never going to marry a good guy, or I'm never going to find the perfect guy. I'm never mm -hmm. going to find someone that's sweet to me or romantic, because honestly, that's what I would say, mm -hmm. you know, but then, you know, I would say that, but then like, I would co contradict myself because I would ask God, you know, God, I want a man like this. Mm -hmm. Like, I would ask him, like, this is what I want in my future husband. And to see that he gave me that and more, I'm just, like, so thankful. And the thing is that because I, we have that and it, it hasn't been easy, you know, because you're a hard person to deal with sometimes. Yeah, I know. I would not marry myself. Oh, my gosh. I think I would be in jail. <laughs> because you're... I would kill myself. You are a hard... No, I'm just I, kidding. I'm just I mean, different. Everyone has its own, yeah. you know, imperfections. Yeah, I mean, like, like I tell her every time we have a little argument, well, I can't be perfect. Yeah. There has to be something wrong with me. <laughs> and that's what keeps it interesting. Interesting. Right? But, but it's it's a lot of work. It's not something that you just kind of... Have from one day to have another. Have from one day to another. Um, and it has to do a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. It has to do a lot about like you, what you believe in yourself, who you are. Yeah. Um, you know, knowing how much you're worth. Because if you are with somebody and you know your worth and that person is not treating you in the same way, then it's done. Yeah. It's like, why would you even keep wasting your time with this person? Um, and I mean, there's certain this situations, uh, there are certain things that people go, and we we're just talking about just our experience. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not no marriage Counselor. expert. expert. <laughs> I'm just talking 
from experience. From experience, what well, I've experienced. But you know what? I heard um, one time Natalie Todd when they were uh, doing their 10 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. And she said that marriage is dying to yourself every day. Yeah. Is dying to your pride, dying to your, oh my God, you yes. know, to your selfishness, to so many things every day. You know, and some people would be like, well, I don't want to die to myself. Well, <laughs> you're it's just, probably. It's just a little sacrifice. It's a for, sacrifice. Yeah. It's like um, you, there's no such thing as like meeting the person in the middle. It's like you have to like commit 100%. Yeah to it like you can't say oh well, we'll go 50 50 because mm -hmm. it does not work that way no. it's like you man it's a lot of work it's it's about cultivating it's like cultivating. a garden yeah it's you there's know, times watering. where watering <laughs> there's times where i'm just like oh god i just need to get away <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we we have our days yeah we have our moments i mean like any you know i'm not we're not trying to come in here and say that we have the perfect marriage but I think we've worked really, really hard to have what we have and to have the family that we have. And I can sit, sit here and say uh, that the last 10 years have been the best years of my life. And it's, yeah, it's so I true. Agree. Like they have been, we had our ups and downs, but they have been the best. And, and that is why I wanted to share not just our story, but to tell you that you can have it too. Yeah, and then you... You're probably looking at us like, man, they don't know anything. <laughs> it's cool. I don't know. I'm just, we're just sharing what, our relationship. Um, we're just being open and honest about everything. And I would tell you that it's not easy. It's a lot of work, but it can be done. You can be in a very happy marriage. Yes. And, yeah, but continue. And, and yeah, like you said, you can be in a very happy marriage if you choose, you know, to to listen to God, to to put him first, mm -hmm. right? Because if you know, like you said, you you're ignoring those red flags and you're just trying to go against your parents or God himself. Or, or you know, like the person you caught them in a big lie. Yeah. You're just choosing to ignore it. And you're just like, oh, he's gonna change when we get together or when we get married, he's gonna change like it takes a lot of faith yeah. and it's going to be a lot of praying, but I'm not saying that people don't change. I'm just saying that it, it will take a lot of work. Right. Um, but yeah, just look at all those little red flags and then yeah. just, just be real with yourself. Yeah. If you, Cause when I was, when we were, when I was with you, we were started dating. Did you see any red flags? <laughs> no, it was a bunch of white flags. <laughs> No, like, honestly, it's the first time I was ever in a relationship that I felt like I could be myself. Exactly. Like, I, I didn't have to pretend to be somebody else. Yes. I didn't have to do anything other than just be myself. And then just I used to just, like, drive home and just be like, wow, she got impressed. <laughs> over that. Um, over <laughs> that. I'm like, that's, that's just me. Yeah, it's because everything, honestly, everything, every show, there were so many things that I didn't know. You lived in a bubble. I lived Can in a bubble. Can we talk about that for a moment? <laughs> okay. Can we talk about that, how you lived in this, you, okay, you you were brought to the U.S. as a baby, you can say. You were under a year old, and then you lived here your whole life. I was in Honduras till I was about. For a longer time. For a longer time, I was. Probably, I think, 10, 10 or 9 when I came here. And, and you knew so much more. I was like, when we of, got, we started dating, and we will talk about shows and all this stuff. And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I had never seen I'll The like, Price is Right. I had never, we, I remember that first time that you said, oh, my mom loves The Price is Right. I'm like, what's that? You're like, what is that? I'm like, come on down. But yeah, it was like a... I don't know. She, but but anything that would go on in Telemundo, Univision, she knew everything. I knew every telenovela. Yeah, but like, not, I would talk to her about, hey, did you watch the show Even Stevens growing up? No. Did you watch, uh, what's another one? I, I think there's one. Did you watch Lizzie McGuire? I did. You did? Okay. Yeah, like but Disney like, Channel or Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon. Yes, or but PBS then, like, Kids. anything else that had yeah. to do with pop culture, you had no idea no who these idea. people were. No idea. It was were. just PBS Kids, Nickelodeon, or Disney. Yeah. And 
Univision. <laughs> Univision. Anything Spanish. She yes. Knew about. Yes. But yeah, I was like, when I was when we were dating, I was there was a lot of things that I was like, whoa. Yeah, you how take do you not me know to, about this? To just everything, everything that we've done in the last ten years has just been amazing yeah. you know to explore different things you know not even shows but places, places food, food um everything we've done it together yeah. you know and i think that's just the amazing thing that we can enjoy that in mm -hmm. our marriage that it didn't have to end while we were dating and that's yeah. something that we talked a lot about when we were in our dating um period you know we would say you know we want to be a marriage that we can still be fun that, you know, we don't have to be boring. Yeah, I, I can't stand what people think that you go to church, you get married, have kids, and then, like, life your life ends. is over. <laughs> it's not. It's just beginning. It is just beginning. Like, you have no idea, like, how much better your life gets. Yeah. It's, it's, in, it's the thing that was missing all mm -hmm. along. Yeah. And when you find it, you're like... This All I had to I was do missing. was just have a relationship with God and I can be happy. Exactly. Like, like a exactly. real relationship with him. And then that's it. Like, you know, we can sit here and talk about what's, what's the right thing to do, what's not the right thing to do. But I think you feel it. You just know. You just know it in your heart. Yeah. Like, you just, like, we felt it. Mm -hmm. and, and people say, how would I know, you know, if this is the right guy? You just know it. I and just knew God, it. You just know it. You feel that peace. You feel because when when something is not from God, you will never feel the peace. And then especially if you feel like you have to hide something, if you have to hide something and or you feel a certain way, oh, if I tell people they're not going to like it's already that's a huge red flag right there. Yes. That is a, hey, this is not right. Right. And you can do that with anything. If you're starting a new job and you don't want to tell anybody about it because people are going to tell you stuff, that's a red flag. Or if you're going to start dating somebody, you're keeping this person a secret mm -hmm. because you know it's not good for you. You know it. You it's just know, you it, know it. But you're just it, choosing to ignore it. And that was one of the things, you know, we did kind of mention it in the last episode, but that was my biggest thing, Fed. Mm -hmm. And you know it, like, well, I don't, you didn't know it in that moment, but I had said to myself and to God, if my parents do not approve of my next boyfriend, I don't care how handsome he is. I don't care how much he loves me. Yeah. I'm not going to date him because I knew what had happened in the past. Mm -hmm. So it, to me, it was so important for my parents to approve it. That I'm like, that was one of like, I guess you can say one of the things that I had asked God. When I mm. know it's the right guy, my parents are going to approve it. And then they approve me. Right away, <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> Which, you know, that was very, very surprising for me because my dad is, my dad was very jealous when it came to me. Yeah. Well, you were, you were his little girl. His firstborn. His firstborn. So to let I don't even know. God, give me the patience because I have a daughter. Oh my gosh, oh I don't know God. what we're gonna do. Even the thought of Brian and Brian, you know, like uh, I just can't. he's gonna be a good husband though. Brian's gonna be a good husband. He's yeah. such a good kid. Yeah, he has such a good heart. He's whoever he marries. Oh, he got, it's gonna be he's a like, very God. You know who this girl is gonna be. I mean, sometimes I feel like he's even sweeter to to me than than you are to me. He <laughs> opens the door for me. Yeah. You know, if he ever sees me sad, he comes and hugs me. Like, he doesn't like to see me, you know, or if I cry. You know, sometimes it's not even a bad thing, but I cry because, you know, God spoke to me or I felt his yeah. presence. What happened, Mom? Yeah. Why are you sad? And I'm like, oh, no, it's not a bad sadness. <laughs> yeah, he's such a good kid. But he is such a good kid. He really is. So... You know, with all of this, you know, I do want to say, because that that was trying to that was kind of happening to me. Don't get stuck in that cycle of you wanting to not go into the next uh, chapter of your mm -hmm. life, your next season of your life. You know, because I was scared, and yeah, I wanted you told to me end that things. that you wanted to. You just didn't know that there was a better life. Yeah, and that you were just scared of letting go. Yeah. 
And a lot of times you just have to let go. Yeah. And I would tell you. And it's you, not easy. You mm-hmm. know, I'm sure that a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's so, it sounds so much easier to say it than to do it. Because you have feelings for the person. You have They're feelings. there. Um, and, and I feel like, you know, by not letting go and, get, and being so stuck to the past or, you know, all those trauma or those uh, hurtful things that you went through, mm-hmm. you know, it's just time to close it yeah and you just have to heal to heal and know that there are better things coming that Mm -hmm. there is a guy just specifically for you yeah waiting for you yeah because honestly you were just like perfect for me oh you were perfect too. it's like you know when you find that puzzle piece and you're like it just fits perfect yeah because i don't sometimes me and her just talking and we are watching a movie or you know, we have we know people, and I can just we were just like, I don't know what I would do if I was married to that person. <laughs> we're like, I would probably be in jail because <laughs> I would have choked her already. Yeah. But then it's like, you know, it's crazy how we we just we just fit perfectly. Yeah. I mean, we're not perfect people, but we just do that. I mean, it's just the way that it just works. But it's a lot like you were saying, sacrificing. And I would tell you this, um, just work on yourself. You know, where you are getting to right now is let go of that person, but you have to work on yourself. You have yeah. to, because I remember right before I started dating you, I was going through stuff and then I really thought I was going to like marry this chick or whatever. I saw, I made up all these signs, whatever. <laughs> and then I just said, you know what? I got heartbroken. And I said, I'm just going to concentrate on myself. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my relationship with God and just do that. Not even thinking about getting into a relationship. Then I found myself being really happy, like really happy, just not like dating anybody. Mm -hmm. And this is like coming from a person that was always in a relationship. Yeah. Like since I was probably 11 or 12, (laughs) I've had like I was always in a relationship. You know, like I you were was, never single. I was like almost never single because I yeah. was always in a relationship. I would break up with somebody and then I would just get on another relationship like soon after. So and then I just said, you know what? I'm just going to work on myself and I'm going to have a real relationship with God. And, and that's well, when it I happened. think it was six or seven months later when I have found like true happiness with just myself. That's when you came along out of nowhere and you that dm and myspace came through <laughs> <laughs> that message yeah it's because you know god never god is always in control yeah he never loses control and today was just a reminder you know at our service he's always in control and even when we thought even when i thought years ago that my life was a mess yeah and i was never gonna find true love true happiness a man that would love me Mm -hmm. you know it just sounded unreal yeah and then for some people it may be something that you've given up on yeah and i'm here to tell you don't ever give up on that yeah because i will tell you from watching like my grandma a mom's mom, she got remarried in work, you know, I think she her last marriage, she was probably in her 50s. Wow. And I can see how happy she was. Yeah. Well, that happened to one of my um, aunts, like my mm-hmm. dad's aunt, uh, my cousin Hector's grandma. She got remarried mm-hmm. and she's living a happy life. Yeah. It's just like, don't ever give up on that. But I think number one thing is just like... Finding yourself, investing in yourself, investing in your happiness, and also investing in, like, your relationship with God. And I know we keep bringing God up in a lot of the chats, but it's honestly, he is in the center of our lives. And it is impossible not to talk about about him because it's so true. Yeah. And I mean, because we've seen it in our lives, we've Mm -hmm. seen, you know, what he's done you know, to see, you know, the kind of marriage that we have, we wouldn't have it if it wasn't for him. That's true. You know, we just wouldn't. So there's a lot of times where I'm like, oh, God, I know I'm not supposed to choke this woman out. (laughs) (laughs) Really? 
<laughs> I'm like, but well, I can say same give thing. me patience. There's God. times that I'm like, I feel him talking to me and say, go hug him. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to go hug him. Yeah. And I know it's God telling me, you need to. Well, I'll tell you, there's times where I'm like, God is telling me, don't do it, Fernando. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Just love her. Don't do it. Really? <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> I'm just joking. But no, it's true. It's um, there's a lot of times where you know you messed up yeah. or you met the other person and feel wrong. And I've apologized to you many times about something, whatever, and I'll just say, Hey, I'm sorry. Even though it's harder for it's you. It's harder, yeah. I mean, I'm it's the truth. I am... Um, I don't want to say that I'm like really prideful. I think we can both be very but prideful. I think I am like, I don't want to say very prideful. I'm more of like, I just kind of brush it off. I don't really like, how can I explain this to you? Like, like we have an argument or whatever. And then like we were talking earlier about this where we were like, we'll get mad and I'll just go to sleep. And like the very next morning, I'm like having such a good morning and I'm so happy. I will just like forget about it. And then you're over here like. And as women, I'm sure you are identifying yourself <laughs> right now. You're like, oh, my gosh, that happens to me, too, where my husband doesn't want to talk about it. He just rather sleep all peacefully yeah. while we are. Angry. Angry. <laughs> Thinking about a, a plan in the middle of the night. Or We're like, oh, in the morning, I get up? In the morning, he's going to want this. He's going to, and I'm not going to cook him breakfast. And I'm going to say, no. <laughs> Just like the soap opera. But then, you know what? There's been mornings that I don't want to make you breakfast because I'm so mad at you. Yeah. But then I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to show him that I'm better than him. <laughs> <laughs> No, then I'm just like, you know what? I'm not like that. I'm going to... Because you know what? Yeah. That's exactly what the enemy wants. Yeah, he wants he to wants make it worse. To make it worse. He What he doesn't want you is for you to make up. Yeah. And that is to a destroy strategy your family. Yeah. that he has. And when I realized that, I said, oh, devil, you want to get in between us? Mm. Well, let me do the opposite. So I when know. I don't want to cook for you in the mornings... I do it even more. Yeah. You know, and then we're happy. Yeah. Or sometimes when I'm mad at you, I just hug you. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, put my pride aside. <laughs> just hug this woman. I was like, it's, it's dying. And, then you're, and I like, can tell you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys know how to get to us. <laughs> I know. I know how to get to you. I mean, yeah. I know you. I think out of anybody in the world. Yeah. Other, I mean, no, I think I know you more than your mom. Yeah. Your mom knows you, but I know the real you. (laughs) (laughs) But what what, what we're trying to just tell you is that, you know, don't let pride get in the way of your marriage, you know, or in the future, you know, learn these things, you know, don't get stuck, distracted in the little things. Yeah, don't do that. And then also, too, like, I am so sick and tired of of people getting advice from the wrong people. (laughs) Like, how are you going to get marriage advice from a single person? Like, yeah. honestly, like, you're going to sit here and talk about your man or talk about your girl to, and then expect good advice from someone who is not in that. Like, right. you know, you should get your advice from people who are like, hey, you've been married for a long time, and I know you're, you're not perfect, but what are you doing? How right. has it worked? You know, like, if I'm trying to get advice on how to lose weight, Come on, I'm not gonna go to the guy who who's not working, going, out. working out or doing you know not living a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's and I think it's just that like kind of going to the right people, right? Because we sometimes find people to just to tell us what we want to hear, right? You know, and we're not gonna what go. We need to hear. what we need to hear. Like you know, you messed up or you did something wrong, but you don't like you know. You go to this person because they're going to make you feel even better. And it's not about that. It's about just fixing the problem. Right. And yeah, I'm just like, that's one thing that is like, just find advice from the, like people who are doing it in, in, a, in a very high level. And that's exactly. with everything in life. So like if you want money advice, go to somebody who's doing really good who's with above money. above you. Yeah. Who's or, doing like really well with money. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want business advice, go to somebody who's you know, has like good businesses advice. If you want marriage advice, go to somebody that has a good marriage. 
um, and just everything like that. So just get your get your information from the right sources, and then just know that everybody goes through something. Don't feel like you may be going through a problem, maybe going through a situation, and you feel like you're the only person going through it. That's a big lie. Everybody's always fighting some something. It doesn't matter how happy they are. And sometimes it's for the same reasons it's that the, every, yeah. you know, like we found out today that we three girls were feeling the same way. And we thought it, it was just it their was just men. You. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought know, it right? was you, just you. I, I thought it was just me. It, it, it's not like that, yeah. you know. So we're always here, you know, if you ever need, you know, any, any advice or anything. I'll just tell you what I know. If you ask me a question and I don't know something, I'll tell you, look, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Go find somebody else. <laughs> or I can guide you to somebody else that yeah. can help you. Yeah. But we're always, we'll be always willing to to do what we can or mm-hmm. just even help you in prayer because that's something that when we can't do anything, when it's out of our out of our hands, and that's all we can do. That's what we were saying in the beginning. It's just saying, you know what, God? I I'm it. done everything I'm supposed to do. I am not going to worry anymore about this situation. I'm just going to trust that you're going to do something. Yeah. And if you don't come through and do what I want, I, I'm trusting in you that whatever happens, happens. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Um, but but then again, I'm not saying don't fight for stuff. I'm just saying once you have exhausted all your options and there's really nothing else that can be done, God and prayer, God is the only one that can come through. Yeah. So I would say, but always seek him. But yeah. you shouldn't be in a position where you have to do everything. And I think that's something that I've learned. We want to be always in control. We want to be in control. Like we want to know everything. I remember like wanting to know who is who is the guy. Who am I going to get married with? Yeah. You know, do I know him? Like I wanted to know all the details. Mm-hmm. You know, and sometimes we can't know it all because if God tells us, if He would have told me the day that I met you, you were going to be my husband, I would have been like, no, God, give me someone else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Really? But was I'm, that I'm look, being honest. <laughs> I was very handsome. <laughs> I see you handsome now. No, I know, but back when you met me, girl, mm, I used to be so conceited. Like you have well, no I didn't idea. see you like that. Maybe God blinded me. I was such a I was such a bad person. <laughs> Maybe God blinded me. I was me such a bad person. To protect person. me. I know. I think you know? I think if I would have started we we would have started dating when I when we first met. Oh, I think I would have like messed you up. You see, and and that's not what I wanted. I know, because remember we were having the conversation before that I'm like I was not a good person. Yeah. Like I was really. So he, so just be patient. Be patient. Wait and, and follow God's instructions. Yeah. You know, like don't try to rush it. You know, don't try to get into things just because you feel like, oh my gosh, everyone's getting married or I want to have a boyfriend. And Oh yeah, these. everybody's having kids. They have their lives and I'm here it's single. It's okay. It's fine. I felt that, you know, I wanted to get married at 19 years old. At 19 years yeah. old, I wanted to get married and and have a family and everything, and it didn't happen that way. You know, we got married at 22. 22. Yeah. 22. And it was just, you know, the right time. Yeah, and, and then can we, we talk get- about that, though? Because we were 22, and I know there was people within my family, too, that were like, oh, you're too young. And we talked a little bit we about We talked a little it. bit about that, but... We, there's, there was people that were like, oh, you're too young. You should like live your life. Um, and how, you know, it's not about, to me, it is an age thing. But once you're ready and you know, you like, you just know. Right. Like you like, just Why know. not be with that person? Yeah. And that's what we wanted. And I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because um, one of my, I call her my number one fan. <laughs> Mm-hmm. on social media she said gabby she's like you know what when fernando mentioned that you know people would say why did you guys get married so young mm-hmm. and you know he said well why not like i want to live with her i want to enjoy my life with like, her imagine being married getting married Just right now. now and that's what yeah. she said she's like gabby i wish i would have 
gotten married younger. Yeah. She's like, I wish I would have had that time to do more things with my husband. And I'm yeah. like, well, it's not too late. You yeah. know, it's not too late now, but it's true. You know, why wait if you found the guy that God yeah. has for you? Yeah, if you found your soulmate. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I mean, I, I know everybody goes through different situations. Um, and then... Maybe you have to wait. Maybe you're in yeah. the middle of school. It's because it, maybe you are. You're, you know, you're about to graduate or God something has a like. Story. But, I, but I will tell you this: is you just know, you just know, and you will. If you feel any doubts, if you're thinking about it too much, then it's not the right time. Yeah, because we both knew right we away. We both knew that it was. We were just gonna. Was, we, that it was the right time. It was the right time. We just felt that there was no... I was never like, is this right? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Or anything. But it, we, it just felt right. And to me, I was like, I don't... You know, we started dating and then like 11, 11 months to a year. Yeah. We were already married. So I will say, um, once you know, you know. But if you do have to wait for X, Y, Z reason... Um, if you are in the middle of school and you have to graduate or um, I don't know. Whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be or maybe you're in a long distance relationship and you can't really be down for X, Y, Z. It's because like I was saying, every story is different. It's different. different. It's different. But all I can say is that just you will know it. We, we go back to that, right? But mm -hmm. You feel that peace. You feel that peace and just follow the instructions. And that's where I want to close off. I don't know if you wanted to mention or say something. No, I do want to talk something. You know, I, I had no idea what we were going to talk about. Uh -huh. I do want to, I think this will bring, um, I don't know. It's just something that, I, that, you know, that happened that I think... You know, since we're going to share our lives on the Internet, then we should share it all. But I do want to talk about when we were talking about you were saying about the lie detector thing and how you were praying for somebody, you know, that wasn't going to lie to you or whatever. Um, and so basically, you, you just didn't trust. You had a, a trust issues. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. And how do you. I noticed that that is something that I noticed when I was dating you. That you had trust issues, and even at the beginning of our marriage, even at the beginning of our remember. marriage, yeah. You, and then I said, "How can I get rid of that?" And the only way I can get rid of that is like a hundred percent honesty, mm -hmm. and just not hiding anything. Like yeah. right now, like I can give you my phone, and I'm a hundred percent confident. Like yeah. there's nothing that being you, transparent, transparent. And can can we can we talk about that situation that happened? Like I think last year sometime. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was talking about when you, you know talking? that it was something, you know, difficult that you could have kept it from me. So th let me tell you what happened. So we're going to this is an exclusive. <laughs> I don't think I've talked to anybody about no. this. But, you know, I got a message from somebody that I went to school with and she was like, hey, help me out. I want to, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I need some money pretty much like I'm in a bad place. Mm -hmm. And then she told me about her kids or whatever. And I was like, you know what? This sucks. You feel I'm, bad. I feel and bad. I wanted gonna, to help. I'm going to help this person out. So, you know, she sent this cash app thing. I sent her some money. And then she's like, oh, you didn't have to do that. You know, she... And, and I just felt like, you know, I just told her, you know what? God put this in my heart to give you this much money. Just I hope, you know, this helps. You know, and then just uh, hope your situation changes. And, um, yeah, she's like, okay, thank you. And then she's and then she said, like, hey, well, you know, I feel, I feel bad that you gave me all this money. Like, I want to do something for you. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, you don't have to do anything. Like, I'm like, you can just like just receive Take this it. as a gift from God. And then what happened? She's like, well, I'm going to send you some nudes. And then I kept saying, no, don't do that. So she sends me the nudes. And then my, in, my, in that moment, I'm like, OK, wow, like this is this escalated too quickly. So I got home and I told her immediately. I said, hey, something happened today that I want you to read it. And it's like, I don't, I could easily hide this from you. Yeah. But I am choosing, you know, to, to, to tell you. 
So I did. I, I gave you my phone. And what happened? Oh, I was, I was, I was so upset. Yeah, she was. <laughs> but I was very upset. But, you know, I realized I'm like, he's telling me the truth. He could have easily said, I'm not going to tell her because she's going to get mad. Yeah. And a lot of things we can think we're doing the right thing by, you know what? I'm just not going to tell her because this thing can get worse. Mm-hmm. And, the, and I knew your intentions were never. Yeah, because you know, I gave you my phone wrong. and I was like, look. Look, read from the beginning and then read all the way down. And I, you know, like, you know your husband. I know mm-hmm. my husband. And I know that, you know, you have such a big heart. You will always try to help anyone when God puts it in your heart. Mm-hmm. You will always help them. So I knew that you were coming from a good place. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew your intentions were good. But I was like, you know, after that, we learned as a as a couple that... Those, those things, I should have... We should... Do those things together. Right. Not like on my own. Right. Not like a man sending yeah, money to, a to girl, another but, woman. Yeah. But yeah, in the moment I was furious. I was crying. I was like, you know, like, like, how yeah, could this it, have happened? You know, but because yeah, I was a picture like I thought about it and I was like, I will be very upset if another man is sending like naked pictures of themselves yeah. and videos yeah. to you. Yeah. And you've kept it from me. Right. I will be super upset. So, so you telling me the truth, I was like, then I'm like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we you know, we you. dealt with it. You know, she said, hey, I, I'm like, what do you want to do? Because I asked you, what do you, how do you want me to react to this? Like, what do you want to do? And you said, well, just block her and everything. So I did. I deleted everything, yeah. blocked her. But I would say it's it's those things um, and just confronting them. Right. Because you could easily say, you know what, I'm just not going to do that. Yeah, or you and can say, you know what, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do I'm just anything gonna delete wrong. it and never tell her about it. I never told you. But that's also not being truthful. It's not being you're hiding you're not, something. Uh, yeah, you're not and, being hundred percent. And if anything, true. it's you're what I wanna do, because I noticed you when, you when we started dating, you had trust issues. It's like I don't want her I don't want you to ever feel like you can't trust me at all. Like if yeah. I have if I'm not in a situation that it's I'm vulnerable, like I'm, it's bad for me. I don't want you to ever feel like, oh yeah, he's gonna do the bad thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I would say is just being 100 percent transparent, and even if it causes like a little problem, but you know In the long your run, intentions yeah. are good. Um, it's that. So, I, I mean, I just wanted to share that because I know someone can learn from that. Um, it's. Yeah, maybe someone can go through it in a few days and they're like, you know what? I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Because honesty is always going to be better. It can hurt in the moment. Mm -hmm. But then it's going to be like, they're going to be thankful. Like, thank you for telling me the truth. Yeah, because she she knows that I won't hide anything from her. Yeah, and you know I wouldn't hide anything from you. So it's like... Only if I buy something. (laughs) (laughs) Which I know because I can see all the accounts. I always end up telling you, right? Yeah. I have to tell you something. I bought something. Well, I see it, and I see <laughs> my account. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's that, right? It's just working. Honestly, that's the kind of work you have to put in your relationship. Um, if you want it to work, you have to invest time. You have to invest in yourself, invest in your marriage. Um, if you have to, if you have to go on a trip with your spouse, just go. If you feel like you need to, just do something different. You know what they need. You know what they want. Like. You don't have to go and do an expe- expensive things or go out and spend all this money. Yeah. You can just have fun or do the things that you guys want to do. But it's just investing time in your marriage. A hundred percent. Investing time in that person because the returns on your investment are huge. And that's the thing that, you know, like. And were, I think, oh, go ahead. No, like we were talking earlier and I'm like, we can look back and say like, you know, we've gone through a lot in so many different situations and parts of our lives. But at the end of the day, we've had a very happy life. Yeah, I mean, God has helped us till this day. Yeah. You know, to live to live like that. And it's just crazy, you know, where and I'm sure we're only not even near where God wants yeah. to take us as a marriage or know, as a family. Because, you know, we talked about, you know, that, that Brad Paisley song. And it's I like, thought I loved you then. I thought I loved you then. It's like looking back when we were like dating and married, it's like I thought I loved you then. It's like now it's crazy. It's I don't know what I would do without you, girl. 
I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I would do without you. I don't either. know. And, and we then cried it, sometimes about that. Yeah. Remember? And then again, I don't want to like come off like we're like kind of showing off or anything. That's the last thing I want to do. Oh yes, it's please like, no. What what we're what's just in trying my to heart? share. What I feel like I'm so passionate about about marriages about yeah. people because i went through a, a period of my life that i was unhappy and to mm-hmm. see what god what god did in my life to know that he restored my heart gave me the man that i that he knew i needed gave me more than i expected i'm like he can do it with you too yeah you know if you've gone through a very bad relationship you know God is going to, God has seen your tears. He saw my tears. Mm-hmm. He saw my pain. He saw what I went through. Not a lot of people know what I went through. I don't even think my mom really knows. You know, Maybe that could be another episode. That's going to be another episode <laughs> when I'm ready to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, nobody, only God saw that and only God sees what you're going through. But we're here. I felt it heavy in my heart to say, you know what? Just trust in him. We're you just know? a testimony. We're just a testimony that if God can do it with with us, that you can live a, ha- a happy marriage, you can too. Mm-hmm. But we keep saying it, but it's only with God's help. It is. And it's, again, we keep saying this, it's a lot of work. It's work. It's work. It's a lot of dying to, dying ourselves. to yourselves. And <laughs> trust me, like sometimes you don't want to do things, but you just have to do them. And you're growing and you're within growing. yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not, I feel, I, you can testify, if I've grown in the last 10 years of our yeah. marriage, you know, I was very prideful. You were, and you would cry about every Well, right thing. now, I'm, I could cry about everything. Well, you cry. You're, you're a crier, but you used to cry. Throughout <laughs> this episode right now, there's been many times I've been wanting to cry, and yeah. I've just been Kinda held it holding in. it in. Yeah. I'm not you much know? of a crier. When I cry... And my husband at the beginning, he would be like, I don't want to see you cry. I don't want to see you cry. So I would take advantage. I'm like, let me cry so he can feel better. <laughs> then I realized it stopped working. Yeah, because I'm like, in my head, I was like, oh, my God. Like, why is she crying? Like, can we, like, go somewhere without you crying about something? Or you looked at me weird. Oh, my God. Or you didn't say hi to me. Or you didn't say I love you this morning. It's like, oh, hey, you would just start crying. I was just like, oh, God. Hey, I tell him I'm a girl. Yeah, I know. I know. And we're, I'm sure you can probably relate to me. But, you know, we're just sharing our stuff because we just, we're just a testimony of what God can do. And I feel, and I can sit here and look at the camera and, and, and say that. I'm very happy where I am, where we are as a marriage. And that was just, this is just kind of like a part two of where we left off last week. So Mm -hmm. if you haven't watched last week's episode, you should. Uh, I know it's long and I'm sorry about that. We kind of like to talk a lot. (laughs) We? Well, I I like to talk a lot. I I think this episode I've probably talked more than you and I feel so bad. Really? Because it feels like it's chats with Fernando and not (laughs) Gabby. He wants to take over you guys. But I can talk for hours. We can talk for hours. Mm-hmm. But, but just to wrap this up. Yeah, I don't want, we don't want it. I know sometimes people say, oh, I want to keep listening to y'all. And I'm sure probably others are like, okay, can y'all just be quiet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but thank you so much for always listening, for always, you know, just always supporting. Thank yes. you so much. But yeah, today we just kind of wanted, um, I felt it, you know, and and if it's if it's for just one person, then that's fine. Amen. To and that. then if we triggered you, I'm so sorry. We just being ourselves. You're like, oh, I can't believe they're saying that. I'm so triggered. I'm so sorry. What do you mean? Like, you know, because the last thing we want is just to come off and say, like, oh no, I'm. This I'm, is this is our perfect life. We're our no, life is not perfect. I'll tell no, you that. We it were just mad yesterday to tell you. Yeah. But you know, just. Just wait patiently. Just wait. Just wait. And you will tell me. You will tell me. I heard your episode one day and I was going through this and I chose to believe and I chose to wait. And now I have the guy that you were talking about, mm-hmm. the, God, the guy that God had for me. And you will just be another testimony of what God has done in your life. Exactly. You know, like, I just cannot stay quiet of what God has done in our lives. Like, we can't. People need to know that there is a solution for your marriage. Mm -hmm. That's why you started this podcast. 
That is exactly, you know, and it's not just right now. I've always been passionate about marriages, you know, since we were even dating. I'm just I'm just so passionate about marriages. And that's why I felt it strong in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm always going to, you know, obey what I feel that it's coming from God mm -hmm. and just say it. You know, so that's that's what we wanted to share to let you know there is still hope for you. There is you know, God can restore your marriage. Or if you haven't found that guy, you will find it, you know. Or the girl. Or the girl. If you girl. haven't found the girl, you will find it. And just know um, that there's always people that know more than you. You don't know it all. We don't know it all. We're just some people that just love God and we just love each other. And we're just just sharing what we have, sharing what we know. Because we know it, it's going to help somebody. And that's the right. whole purpose of this podcast is just to help people. Encourage that's people. Encourage bring hope. people. Bring if you've hope. lost hope, you know, we want to tell you. No. Or if you're really, if you're in a very good spot in your marriage, just write a comment down below. Just say, hey, or any tips or any advice or anything. Just, just you know, because we don't know it all. It. But we're just sharing our story. We're just sharing a little bit about us. Yeah, so... You know, we hope that this episode has been a blessing for you, whether you're single or you're married or, you know, whatever your status is right now. Yeah, if it's complicated. complicated. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. you know, don't worry. You know, let, let God be God and just let him take over. But thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting from day one. Thank you so much. We've already... Uh, celebrate our two month anniversary. I know, and you're over a hundred subscribers. Thank you. We're over a hundred subscribers. That's and pretty amazing. It's, it's, I'm so thankful. I'm like, God, this is big. It yeah. might not be big for others, but I'm like, this oh, is big right now. Oh, we celebrate every win. Every time we, you get a subscriber, she's <laughs> I like, I got another subscriber. subscriber. <laughs> pretty awesome. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and, and to the audio, too. Audio as well. You can subscribe, share it with people. Um, just hit the like button, you'll be surprised. Because I was looking through the stats. There's people from other countries that are listening. Yes. I had no idea. What was that one country that's like 1% Indone something? Indonesia. Indonesia. There's Indonesia. people from 1% Indo of the people that listen to it. It was 1.6 or 1. Something. Yeah, so like if you, you get, say, 100 views, like, or say 200 views, two people from Indonesia, like, are listening or that's watching. That's crazy. That is crazy. But I would say just hit the hit the like button because when you hit it, um, it just shares it and it does thing to the algorithm. So it just do that, and then yeah, just share it, leave a comment. Because we know that someone needs to hear it. If yeah. This can bless someone else. You just never know what that other person might be going through. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the goal. The goal is not to become famous or to get the, no, the most. No, not at to, all. To bring encouragement to other people, to other people that Just need it. through our lives. Through our lives. Especially through, through your life, because your life is pretty interesting. Really? <laughs> <laughs> our life. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much, and we'll see you guys on our next episode. Bye-bye.